welcome back students now in continuation with the chapter we are going to deal up with the process of transcription and as in my previous video i have told you all what is the process of transcription transcription is a process it is a process of synthesis of rna molecule that is mrna on the dna template strand clear so what is the process of transcription it is a very what to say basic process in the process uh, it is a very basic step in the process of uh, protein synthesis since and since during this process what happens that a molecule of mrna which is said to be the messenger rna is synthesized on the dna template strand and because of this what what happens that the genetic code which is stored in the dna molecule is transferred to this mrna molecule and this mrna molecule then picks up uh, then uh, what to say sends the message to the trna and the rrna so that the proteins according to the genetic uh, code can be synthesized so it is a very important process of central dogma also clear so when we are talking about the transcription it is again based on the principle of complementary complementarity base pairing as we have just uh, uh, in my previous video as i have shown you all uh, replication process here also the complementarity in base pairing it is a very uh, what to say basic principle that is present in the process of transcription but here there are certain differences between replication and transcription what are those differences the very first difference between replication and transcription is replication when once set in it continues throughout the dna molecule it continues up till the formation of a complete dna molecule okay but in transcription only a one segment or a few segments of the dna they are transcribed but in transcription only certain regions i would say only certain regions of dna are transcribed clear then again when we are talking about the replication in replication in replication adenine pairs up with thymine but in what to say uh, transcription adenine pairs up with uracil okay so these are the certain basic differences but the major difference is that replication replication is a continuous process and once it has uh, been initiated in the dna molecule it is going to complete up till the whole length of the dna molecule means uh, till up till the whole of the dna molecule has been replicated this process is going to continue for uh, further on but in transcription what happens only certain regions of the uh, dna they are transcribed means only certain regions of the dna they act as a template strands and on these particular base sequences of the dna the mrna strand is uh, synthesized then what are the basic reasons behind that uh, behind this that only certain regions of the dna get transcribed in the uh, 
process of transcription so here when we are going to talk about this there are two reasons behind that that during uh, what to say process of transcription if both the rna strands sorry if both the dna strands they are transcribed then what will happen they are going to form complete new rna molecules and these complete new rna molecules might be that they are going to form what a double stranded rna molecule since and since they are going to get complementary base sequences and it is very obvious that they are going to uh, get joined together and they are going to form a double stranded rna molecule then they form two strands of rna which are going to possess complementary base sequences and hence they are going to form a double stranded dna molecule clear another reason is that when certain regions of the dna they are going to be transcribed Uh, or uh, the complete uh, regions of the dna they are going to be transcribed and this transcription is basically for proteins then there are uh, very obvious uh, reasons that these codings could be for separate type of the proteins so that is also not very obvious in nature hence transcription proceeds only in certain regions of the dna and not the whole length of the dna molecule what my words so now we are just going to talk about the transcriptional unit what is the transcriptional unit and how transcription proceeds on so when i am going to uh, when i am talking about the transcriptional unit the transcriptional unit it comprises of a promoter gene a terminator gene and a structural gene these are the three basic component parts of a transcriptional unit that is the promoter gene the terminator gene and the structural gene clear so how does this transcriptional unit looks like supposedly this is the double stranded dna molecule and this is 3 dash 5 dash and this is 5 dash 3 dash clear this is a promoter and this is the transcription start site this is the terminator this is the structural gene this is the template strand this is the coding strand 
clear? As I said you all that there are three basic component parts of a transcriptional unit that is the promoter gene, the terminator gene and the structural gene, clear? So here the promoter gene and the structural gene both of them flank up the structural gene but what happens here as we all can see that the two strands of the DNA are present one is running from the 5 dash to the 3 dash direction and other, other is running from the 3 dash to the 5 dash direction and an enzyme which is basically necessary for polymerization of the RNA molecule on the DNA template strand is known as the DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme. This DNA dependent RNA polymerase enzyme it initiates polymerization only in the 5 dash to the 3 dash direction. Therefore here this temp uh, this strand of the DNA which runs from the three, uh, 5 dash to the 3 dash direction it act as the template strand and the other strand which runs from the 5 dash to the 3 dash direction uh, from the 3 dash to the 5 dash direction it acts as the coding strand clear though the word here is no, uh, used as the coding strand it is not having any use in the process of transcription clear so now what happens that the promoter gene whenever we are going to define the situation of the promoter gene and the terminator gene we are just going to define it on the basis of the position of the uh, on the coding strand so when we are saying that the promoter genes they are uh, uh, promoter genes we say the promoter genes they are situated on the 5 dash end of the coding strand because he, here you can see that it is situated on the 5 dash end of the coding strand here terminator gene as we all can say that the terminator gene it is situated on the 3 dash end of the coding strand therefore the situation of the or the position of the terminator gene is the 3 dash end of the coding strand clear and both these genes they flank up the structural genes clear so this promoter gene it acts as a site for the initiation of transcriptional process from here the process of transcription is going to proceed further on so this is all about the structure this is the promoter site which is going to start up the process of transcription and this is the terminator gene which is going to stop up the process of transcription and in between there are the structural gene so this is the model of the transcriptional unit in my next video we are just going to talk about how the process of transcription proceeds further on so here in uh, these two videos i have given you the process of replication and the process of transcription clear now uh, uh, we are just going to proceed further on how process of transcription and translation proceeds further on till then thank you